Hello everybody, it's me Charlotte and today I'm going to show you guys how to knit what I'm calling the trendy texture stitch. It would be a perfect stitch for a washcloth or a dishcloth, um, a baby blanket, a scarf. I mean, it's a really nice stitch. It's stretchy both ways. Um, it's a two row repeat. It's beginner friendly. So I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. It's nice. It's even nice on both sides. Like this is a flat side, but I still think it has a nice texture to it. And of course the front, I really like the front. I don't know if you guys can see really well, but it does lay flat. Um, so it does make a perfect washcloth, dishcloth, baby blanket. Your options are endless. Um, so I'm going to show you real quick how to knit up this trendy texture stitch. Um, before we get into it though, I want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Thank you for liking my videos, commenting, and sharing them. I really do appreciate it. It does help me out greatly. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so now. And if you would like to follow me on Facebook, I will leave a link in the description below. All right, let me, guys, let me show you guys real quick how to knit up this trendy texture stitch. It's fun. Once you get going, it goes really fast. You want to start with an odd number of stitches, so you want to cast on an odd number of stitches. I always use the long tail cast on. Um, I prefer the long tail cast on, I think, because I'm fast at it. That's why I like it. I'm just going to do a few here, show you guys what I'm talking about. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We'll do eleven stitches. Okay. Now the first, the very, very first row is just a setup row. And I just knit all the stitches all the way across. This row has nothing to do with a two row repeat. Um, it's just how I set up this, how I set it up. And I just want to knit all the stitches straight across. I'm sorry I'm not a fast knitter. <laughs> all right. So you knit all the stitches straight across. Now we're going to get into our two row repeat. The first row of our two row repeat is knit the first stitch. The first and last stitch of every row will always be knit. Okay, so we've knit our first stitch. Now we want to go in between the next two stitches. You have this stitch and this stitch. You want to go right in between them like so. You don't want to go into a stitch. You want to go in between the stitch. Wrap your needle, bring it up. Do not take the first stitch off your left needle. Instead, you want to knit it like normal. Now you want to knit the next stitch. Now you want to go in between the next two. Put your needle right in between, wrap the needle, bring it up. Do not take that first stitch off your left needle, but knit it like normal. Now you're going to knit the next stitch. Now you're going to go in between the next two stitches, just in between. You don't want to go into a stitch. You just want to go in between the stitches. Wrap your needle like normal, bring it through, not taking that first stitch off your needle, but you're going to knit it like normal. Then knit the next stitch. You want to go in between the next two stitches. Wrap your yarn, bring it through. Leave that first stitch on your left needle and knit that as normal. Knit the next stitch. Now you want to go in between your last two stitches. In between, wrap your needle, bring it up. Now you want to knit that stitch that's still on your needle. And then you want to knit your last stitch. Okay, that was row one. Row two, we are going to knit the first stitch and we're going to purl the next two stitches. So purl the next two stitches together. We're purling them together. Put our working yarn back in the back and then knit the next stitch. Bring our working yarn back up front and we're going to purl the next two stitches together. Take our working yarn, put it back in the back, knit the next stitch, bring our working yarn back up front and purl the next two stitches together. Put our working yarn back in the back, knit the next stitch, bring our working yarn back up front and purl the next two stitches 
together. Working yarn back in the back, knit the next stitch, bring our working yarn back up front, purl the next two stitches together, put our working yarn back in the back, and knit our last stitch. That was row two. Back to row one, we're doing a two row repeat. So this is gonna be where we knit one, put our work our needle in between the next two stitches. There'll be like a little gap. You'll kind of know that's where you're supposed to go. You'll put your needle right in between those two stitches, bring up a stitch, and knit that stitch that you didn't take off your needle. Knit the next one, put your needle in between the next two, bring up a stitch, not taking that first stitch off your needle, but knitting it like normal, and then knitting the next stitch. This is your textured row, if you guys can see. This is where your bumpy texture is. That's how you know you're gonna be on the row to, you're gonna be sticking your needle in between stitches to pick up stitches. That's the row you know you're gonna be on is when it's the bumpy side. That's the side where you, you knit and you put your needle in between stitches to bring up a loop. When you're on this side, that's gonna be the side you purl on. So you're gonna knit one, purl two together, knit one, purl two together, knit one, purl two together. That's this side, that's the flat side. So when you're on the flat side, you're gonna be purling. When you're on this bumpy side, that's when you're gonna be sticking your needle in between stitches and bringing up a stitch. You guys can bind off any way you prefer. Um, yeah, but it's super easy, guys. It's a two row repeat, beginner friendly, perfect for washcloths and dishcloths, baby blankets, scarves, options are endless. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so now. And the link to my Facebook will be in the description below. Until next time, guys, I hope you all have a fabulous day and happy knitting. Bye.